Yep. Uh, both Chama. teams. Both teams. Uh, both teams. Like, actually, ang kumpuna ng Mapua, pabor sa kanila to. Gusto oh, this nila, favors them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gusto nila, they are one of the, when it comes to pace, they play at a slower pace. They yeah. run an opportunity. But for the most part, pag tinignan mo yung stats, mababa yung rebounding sa kanila. Bakit? Hindi ka ano, nakakatino yung mga kalaban. Yeah. Gusto nila mababa ang possession, mababa ang rebounding, and highly physical. Yeah, to si... Dali yun. Pangatlo yun na! That's been the story. Dun? Yeah, for San Sebastian so far, they're shooting yep. it. At a 13% clip. In the shot, the, the shots the are there. Uh, the shots are there. Exactly. They've been executing, just not converting. Ito naman mapuha. Susubukan bumawi. Recto to Cuenco. Cuenco will attack. Cuenco, what a sidestep. Masapit. Yeah. Jolens na tira. It's a nice move by Cuenco. Kilikili shot. Mm. So Cyrus now, Cuenco. Uh, now, if you're Coach Randy, you gotta love this guy, Cyrus Cuenco. Kasi deceiving to eh. Madalas na convert sa catch and shoot. Pero yung slashing ability niya, oh, underrated eh. And doon natin nakikita eh. So that's why players need time to play and develop in the college system. Kasi meron ko makukuha mga athletic that can shoot. Tuturuan mo paano umatake, paano for make down. And kailangan napapakuluan mo ba kung baga sa kung baga sa kape kailangan tigain mo ba yan eh para makuha mo yung pinakamagandang team plan yeah. at ito napakaganda ng addition to Uy! sa sistema ito Johnny offensive foul Jesse Somoda and Jopet Soriano oh, may yanis ka ba si Soriano eh pagka kasi ang habit nito ni Soriano is early work when you say early work Martin pagkatawid pa lang ng opposing big guy, babanggain ka na niya bago ka pa pumunta doon sa posting. Doon sa spot mo. Especially on that right block. Eh, bakit ko nasabi? Kasi that was my job before hmm. when I was playing against foreign student athletes. Especially in practices. When it comes when it came to Sam Ek. Eh, hmm. Pagkatawid sila ng half court, you need to do your early work. Palalambutin mo na. Okay. So babanggain mo na before pa siya makatawid doon sa block para... Hindi maka-establish. O quote-unquote, at least medyo ma-displace mo siya. Okay. So, no upgrades here. No grab, no wala. No upgrades. Kasi, jockeying for position. Ito makikita natin. Ayan o. Nakapatong na early work, pagpatong, yung pag-swim. Ayan, yan. Pwede i-submit yan. Pwede i-submit yan. Ginagalig sa akin. Oo. Okay. But 13-11. Kasi hindi nakita yung right hand. Kasi yung right hand ang tinawagan. Nakapatong, naka three-fourths. Pag-angat, yun yung tumama dun sa kabilang angle ng mga referees natin. Yung kabilang ang tumama. So, Soriano. Pero pag ganung angle, pwede mo madala. Oo, pwede yun. Pwede yun. Here's the kick out. Cuenco catch and shoot. That rims out. Long rebound ending up with Escamis. Here's Recto now. Pinag-isipan yung tres. Pinali kay Escamis. Free for three. No go. Kapua still struggling from long distance in this game. Only one out of seven. San Sebastian must struggling. Zero out of four. Bound away from the action. It is on JC Recto. And now let's use this opportunity to go courtside. Ito ang second quarter report. Update mula kay Mickey Santos. Mickey. Martin and Coach Hammer, you know, just a little insider for the team of Mabukua. Nagkaroon daw sila ng masinsinang pag-uusap ng hard-to-hard talk after their loss last Friday against the, like, the LPU Pirates. Uh, umikot daw ang kanilang usapan sa nagiging estilo ng kanilang paglalaro uh, for the first round. Dahil kumpara daw sa no first round, team captain Warren Bonifacio served na lahat ay nakakahawak ng bola. But for the past few games, ay para daw nagkakanya-kanya na daw sila. Lahat gusto kong score at para nagiging 1-1 na daw ang kanilang ilalaro. Pero ayon nga kay Coach Randy, kahit na ilang beses daw silang mag-usap, walang pangyayari kung walang mag-uusap. Nagdagpa ni Paolo Hernandez, walang perfectong player, pero naniniwala daw siya na lahat ay pwede maging player. It's time for the Cardinals to step up and start from the ground up. What do you think? But that's all for the side of the Mabua Cardinals. Back to you, Martin. Good champ. Thank you so much, Mickey. Well, oh. that was an identity crisis, no? Uh, para sa ako Mabua. papanig ako parating kay Coach Randy pag uh. nadaling sa ganyan. Pwede kayo magkwentuhan, pero pag hindi nyo diniinan, hanggang kwento na lang yan. Ganun lang naman yan. Simple, madaling magsalita, yeah. pero pinakamahirap, gumawa. Kasi ang sinasabi natin, the conversation in the first round, especially, especially how they ended that last few games. As we take a look at this three-pointer earlier off the handoff, para dito may Kofi Talisay, nailing a triple. That's the second triple of the game for the Papua Cardinals. Ang usapan doon, nakita natin ang galing ng Papua. 
Tapos ang sinasabi natin, meron pa itong iaangat, may oh. bubuga pa. Wala pa ito sa pick nila. Sigurado. Kasi hindi naman ang mga teams eh. Oh, ito, nice turn. Unselfishness. Shown by the picks. Sabi kasi, pag kayo mga hard to hard talk na yan, Pagkalabas, may mga galos yung iba. <laughs> Ganon? Ang hey, hotel. Grabe kasi. Lalo na pagka... Happy birthday day, Mart Escobedo with your three-point shot. Pero yung, yung mga heart-to-heart -heart dogs na ganyan kasi. Especially if you're part of a competitive team. What happens in the locker room na kayo-kayo lang, you hash it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hash ah. it out. Yung uso yung mga may paiyak-iyak pa. Pag meron, meron. Pag wala, wala. Pick up, laro. <laughs> Diin. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ayun na, yan ang pinakamira pagka nagtatatalo. Oh, okay. That's a normal occurrence oh, for a team. I would understand their issues kasi new feeling yung number one team oh, kayo. True. Diba? True. It's a different high. So probably the players could sometimes get overconfident true. and call their Complain number sense. most of the time. Oh, yeah. So magandang naranasan niya ng team nito ng Mabua. But Take offensive a look at that offensive foul. foul. Yeah. On this triple hand, triple hand of zoom action. Is Kami sa natawagan dito. 18 to 16. Our game remains close. Shooting natin, medyo umangat na. Mga kapuso. 30% for Mapua, 20% for San Sebastian. Here is Rex Gabat. Gabat driving baseline. Uy, tayo nung pasa. Kalahat was able to save. Felebrico, lalapit. Felebrico, bumomba. And he is going to be called for the charge. Yeah, yung bangga dun. Or was it a travel? Turnover. Was that turnover? Was that turnover? Hindi, <laughs> kasi hindi sumigunta yung ating announcer nung tawag eh. That would have been a longer announcement. Traveling ang tinawag initially. Okay, re-reviewin. According to FIBA International referee Toti Celeste, that last play, the attack by TJ Filibrico. Because I thought this was hard contact. The shoulders were down as he was trying to barrel his way through. Okay. Tignan natin yung magiging tawagan dito. Referees natin, by the way, on your screens right now, number 68 and number 19. 68 si Toti Celeste. 19 si Jeff Ablola. Ayan po, San Sebastian, 4 and 8. Right now, coming off a big win against the San Pedro Red Lions. If you guys just tuned in, that is the premise of this matchup so far. Mapua, on the other hand, losing their second game in the second round. Second in the last three games for them. Kaya bumaba yung record nila kanina. Or dito sa ating uh, competition, Felebrico, they're still uh, examining this call. What do you think, Coach Hammer? Is this gonna be an offensive foul? Mm. Or i-upgrade ba nila? Might go both ways. Because initially, it was Sideways, a no-call. Eh. No, uh, kasi contact lang. Eh. Interesting vantage point from our referees. Kasi kung magbibigay ka ng extra, kita ka agad dito. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Eh, HD na yung mga camera eh. Hindi <laughs> nang kita pag may mga pabaon ka papunta sa school week next week. Oo nga. Oo. Balik school na tayo bukas. TJ Filibrico, by the way, coming off a double-double performance against San Beda. Ito na mm -hmm. yung ating announcement dito. Sige, pakinggan natin yung ating policy announcer. Abang review the field goal converted by Raymart Escobedo was just a two-point basket. Ah, yun pala yung review. Official score. So, it... Okay. 15-40. San Sebastian. Kay Feli Brico. Feli. Feli. Oo. Traveling. Yan. Turnover. Two-point shot lang yung kanina yung Feli Brico. Hindi naman sa Jai yung tama. Tumulito tayo dun, ha? Okay. Yung kanina. So, hindi birthday three yung kay... Escobito kanina. Birthday shot lang. Birthday shot. Birthday long two. Uh -oh. 18 to 15 is the count. Linabas kay Escamis. Clint will attack. Clint loads it up. Comes up short as well. Talisay offensive rebound in Mapua. Mapua. 
Bonifacio gets the bounce. Sweeping hook para dito kay Warren Bonifacio. Yan yung nadagdag din niya sa post, uh, post moves niya. Kasi dati, alam natin na pagkakapose si Boni, uh, either two-hand push shot or titira siya ng jumper. Ito, traveling na naman ang tinawag si San Sebastian. This time, it's against Romel Calahat. So, timeout muna tayo kasi umaabante, umakalagwa na dito ang Mapua Cardinals. We'll be back after this. Basketball heroes are made every year, and the NCAA always gives rise to new heroes of the game. In fact, the NCAA has produced its share of basketball legends and modern-day basketball heroes. At ngayong nag-umpisa na ang NCAA Season 99, GMA Sports is honored to feature 10 new heroes na dapat abangan ng lahat ng basketball fans. Una sa listahan ay si Kurt Ray. Nagbabalik tayo dito sa NCAA Season 99, New Heroes of the Game, Mapua versus San Sebastian. I'm Lexi Gonzalez, currently reporting for San Sebastian. Dito muna tayo kay Paeng Are. We all know him. He has proved himself in court and is currently a key player for San Sebastian. But he hasn't always been this confident. Naikwento niya sa akin na noong kasagsaga ng pandemic ay dumaan siya sa anxiety dahil wala na raw teams ang gustong kumuha sa kanya hanggang umabot daw siya sa punto na hihinto na lang siya mag-basketball. But he is still here today, continuously proving himself as a strong player with San Sebastian. Patunay ito that we will have no moments, pero ang importante ay kung paano tayo makakabangon. I'm excited to see more from Paeng, Martin, and Coach Hammond. Maraming salamat, Lexi. He is currently on the bench right now as Kalahat scores on the layup right there. Pero kami, karamihan ng mga players natin, ganun. Diba? Merong uncertainty oh, nung pandemic kung so, ipagpapatuloy eh. mga karir nila. Hindi players kahit yeah. uh, palinay sa panel and uh, yeah. even NCA was trying to find a new home yeah. but we are where we are supposed to be. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's uh, para all encapsulating na yan na uh, nandito tayo where we really belong. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Wow. Yeah. Classic ah. Ano ah. Classic. Classic. Easy words ah. Oh, Classic. Oh. Okay. No, but okay. Yeah, but, but going back to Paeng Are, we were so high on this guy last oh, season. Oh. Obviously, he struggled in his rookie year. He's the younger brother of Mike, Mike Are, a uh, former guard of San Sebastian. As Mapua is called for a turnover. Shot clock violation. Uh, so now he leads uh, San Sebastian in scoring, talking about Paeng 11.8 points per game. So he bounced back siya from a, a tough rookie season that he had. Na talagang medyo malakasang hype sa kanya. Now he has. You know, stabilized his play in the NCAA. Unchanged siya ngayon eh. Pinakabayaan uh -huh. talagang maglaro. That's right. 20 Saka, to 17. Yeah. Kumpiyan sa yung coach niya sa kanya eh. Mm -hmm. And given that opportunity and leeway, titi na titi. Ito rin, nag-resurgence si Mariyari ni Romel Calaha this right. season. Mas malaking freedom and uh, they are able to express their skill set. Oh, Gabat! With a takeaway and a breakaway! And San Sebastian, just like that, are on top once again, 21 to 20. Balik sa ating laban. Oh, sabi sa inyo, the kids are here inside the venue. Ganda naman. Biggest fan ni Clint is Camis na mayroon pang pa-artwork dito sa venue natin. Ang maganda dito, yung artwork niya, nakalaminate pa. O, oh, diba? Yeah, thank you so much for watching, catching all of the action here in San Juan City. Smile come tayo. Yan, magre-react yung mga emojis natin. Smiling. Because this game has been uh, exciting so far. You know, uh -huh. It's been a close contest. Yep. Now San Sebastian is retaliating. Of course, the kids starting to develop interest in basketball, uh -huh. maybe. So why not 
Ganyan. Make them watch Ganyan. live. Ganyan lang si Marla dati. Yan, memorize yung beda ni me. Yun. <laughs> oh, yung, yung, kasi na, i-immerse sila eh. Uh, i-immerse yeah, sila. Yeah. They're being opened up. Not only in basketball, sa iba-ibang sports na interest din ng parents. And kailangan na kailangan yan post-pandemic. Kasi yung mga babies na yan. Uh-huh. Uh, they, uh, they need to really learn how to move their bodies and through sports building relationships. So, wala na pa nang bumuo ng women's basketball team ng San Pena. So, okay na yung mag-aaral na lang. Pwede siya mag-volleyball, <laughs> pwede siya mag-track and field. 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 James Una, the sidestep coming up short. But San Sebastian in front here of a quick burst. Kanina 20 to 15 to 6-0 run. for the San Sebastian Sacks, the Lisay. Pagka nasa labas si, ay pag nasa loob si Clint Escamis, mas pinupuntahan nila yung zoom action nila, which is, they want a peg guy on that uh, elbow area and then dribble hand off sa gilid dahil mas nakakuha ng buwelo yung mga attackers nila. Kaya lang ha, nagsisend na sila on the outside shots after the hand off. That's right. They've been falling in love with a three-point shot. Kalahan, oh, in the meantime, does the opposite. Navigating his way to the basket. Saka magaling gumamit ng angulo si Kalahat eh. I mean, nung no, kararating pa lang nito sa San Sebastian, we were able to see him grow up really. Pero ever since talagang madiin maglaro eh. Yeah. 23 to 20, bounce pass, kabat. Couldn't get the scoop. No, hindi nakita si Philip Rico, nag-aantay na dun. Nakauna. Is coming at his best in the open floor. So... Yeah, Clint Escamis, that is his first two points of the game. Oh, it's a mahirap kalaban tong si Clint Escamis. Once you get his rhythm on the open floor, and it gets opened up by the way that he plays the passing lane. Kasi quick on the passing lanes to si Escamis, eh. Yeah. Oof, Rex Gabat, a hard fall after that attempt. And this is gonna be on Kobe Dalisay. A hard fall. Dito kay Gabat. It was his hip. Yeah. And then the back of his head. Doble yung impact dito kay Rex Gabat. And he's still down. In pain. Yeah. He's holding on to that backside, lower back. Oh, may review. Pero again, itong mga review na to, under FIBA rules, kasi you are not being given the leeway of the landing. It's mm-hmm. the contact that caused the landing. Yeah. Para lang, para lang ma- malinaw, ano? malinaw doon yeah. sa mga kapuso natin. Kasi hindi tinatawagan ng foul yung landing. Yung, yung act ng pag-foul. Kaya makikita natin dito, on the contact. Yeah. Lalo extra motion. Regular foul eh. It was just the awkward landing. Oo, yung landing lang talaga. Kasi yun, know, hindi naman nag-swing. Ipag-land lang yung heart. So, so, masakit yun. Masa, masakit yun dahil yung hip mo, malakas ang, malakas ang palo dahil yun ang sasalo ng lahat ng, ano mo, yeah. ng weight mo. Mm-hmm. So, Gabat goes to the free throw line. Staple of the starting unit mm-hmm. neto ni Coach John Calios, the more offensive-minded Gabat brother. Hindi mahihain to. Hindi mahihain. Hindi mahihain to. Oh. Open look. Mm-hmm. Pupukol. Pag may bantay, <laughs> feel niya eh. Pupukol niya. <laughs> yeah. At, at saka mabigat yung inilaro nito against San Beda. Yeah. Meron siyang tatlong crucial na three points mm-hmm. in the second half na off a scramble, pupukol niya sa harap ng bantay. Yeah. Yung mga ganun, yung masasakit talaga eh. Na, oh, matapang. It is 24 to 22. Poingo from the corner. Wala pa rin para sa Mapua. They are now 2 out of 11 from Rainbow Country. Kalahat. Again, operating. Kalahat. Oh, trapped. Almost losing it. He recovers. He's got nine to work with. Romel. And the rebound goes to Recto. There's JC. They will go to Paolo Hernandez. Zero surveys. Bone Pancho. Elbow jumper. Good challenge. Off. Good ah. challenge. Recovering from the weak side. Itong si Kalahat. Parang numbers trillion. Four on five. Weak side. Tagger si Kalahat. Sprinting down. Nangin lang si Bonifacio. Oh. Alex Desoyo. Oh, to James oh, Una. Masyadong masigip. Apat na tao na nasa shaded rail para sa mapuha. Basag-basa yung pasa na yun. Recto on the move. Side steps. Sending it out. Escan is for three. Wala pa rin para kay Clint. He has been struggling from the field. 
Only one out of six uh, for Escamis. He is currently, by the way, the number one scorer in the league. Uh -huh. At uh, a little over 15 points a game. Okay, yeah, pag natin yan. Natin yan. Over Pero, at game on after this game. That's right. pag natin yung mga round one leaders. Oh, round yeah. one. Now, okay, ito si Paeng. Back in the game. Rex Gabat, pull up jumper. And the yan for one jump. Isang trabaho yeah. niya, no, umi score. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, alam mo ni. Correcto. Pinag-isipan niyan. Inalapit ni JC. Next sa labas, Hernandez will back up and will survey the floor. Paolo to Cueco. Baseline move! Hard contact with James Una, pero may foul na. Oh, yung Kay bago, Gabat pa lang. Bago pa lang dun sa atake. So that's a foul on the floor oh, against Alex Gabat. Ayan o, yung uh, across the body reach. Ito yung... Uh, Secondary collision with James Una. Dalawa yung Pauli sa langin na tawaga. Uh -huh. Ganun talaga eh. Naramdam mo yun yung pareho ni Cuenco. So, para, para pag practice, pag nasa ilalim ka, isa lang yung tatawagan ng Pauli. Pero anim na, anim na kamay yung humampas sa'yo. Oh, that's a nice rejection from James Una. And here he is, rewarded on the fast break. Wala lang yung layup. Isa pa para kay Philip Rico. Sa makakahanap ng niche dito si Philip Rico, ah, ng minuto. Yeah. Kasi first round, hindi natin nakikita gaano ginagamit. Kailangan nila ng 4, plus 4 na tumatakbo. Mm -hmm. Willing. Eh, wing yan eh. Yeah. Wing yung 4. Tsaka itong Castor, ito ah. Okay maglaro to. Pick and pop type of player na bangga lang din ang bangga. Uh, late discovery din yan para kay Coach John Callios. Because again, he wasn't utilized. <laughs> Most of the first round. Yung mga kursunada nung kausap nila ni Coach Bonnie Garcia. Ah. Yung mga fighter na shooter. Uh, uh. Kasi yun ang una, oh. talagang kinakapaan nila kung sino yung magpapakita oh, ng energy. Kasi eh, Coach Bonnie was my coach in San Beda. Uh -huh. Ang hilig niyan yung mga fighter. Mga fighter talaga. Kasi siya lagi ang nag-handle nun ng scout group. Si ni Coach JB Cicero. Mm. Coach so, JB. Yeah. Laging, uh, asan yung mga pitbull natin? No, oh, yan, nasa scouting team kayo. Siyempre, kami mga third team. Katat kami maglaro eh. So, yeah. nabibigyan kami ng chance in practices. And again, they are being rewarded here in the second round for playing time for them. Meantime, here's Asuncion. Kakapasok lang, fresh from the bench. Mapua getting pressured at the backcourt. They're able to send it across at the last second. Here's his Escamis. Inside the final minute of the first half, Clint surveys. Popper tong Asuncion, shooter to from the outside. Morenos is back in, drop off inside. Here's Hernandez catch and shoot. Voila. Loose ball, ending up with Clint. It's a fresh 14 for the yellow shirts. Anayu, hindi titira ni Hernandez. Instead, it's a drop off. Wala pa rin para kay Bonifacio. Multiple chances for Mapua right there. And here's Payang Are with San Sebastian on top by four. Are, hit pala kay Una. Here's Aguilar, no? kakapasok lang kanina-kanina lamang. Una is scouted. May shooting to sa labas, kaya nagkukumik yung defender. Nakagawan siya. Escamis is on the move. Escamis! Draws the foul. Oh, yung unang sundot ni Una, hindi natawagan. Yung pangalawa niyang sundot yung tumama. So, two free throws coming up here for Escamis. Na makikita mo, after this turnover, good help by Warren Bonifacio, nagamitan ng balakang. Ito yung unang sundot, hindi tinawagan. Yung pangalawa, Ganun ulit yung contact. So Escamis has a chance at the free throw line. And maybe this could get him going. Oh, I mean, Clint Escamis is uh, up and down in this game. The shot right there. But as somebody who has been in a funk, mm -hmm. in the second round is Paulo Hernandez. That's right. Oh, that's last true. game he yeah. was uh, in 20 minutes, not be zero. Mm -hmm. And then now, shooting blanks. But ebbs and flows. You have to outshoot your funk. Yeah. Simple lang yun eh. Scorer ka, gawa ka ng paraan. At ibang iba-iba yung pinanggagalingan ni Paolo. Minsan, uh -huh. nasa starting lineup siya. Ine-experiment ni Coach uh -huh. Randy kung saan siya mas magiging Pero effective eh. Ano to eh? Mas maganda talaga coming off the bench. Off the bench, yeah. And, yes. and uh, in, dun siya sa mga pag inilabas si Cuenco, papasok siya, tapos siya nagiging main focal point ng offense. Yeah. And then you remove that uh, responsibility in the second half pag sabay na sila ni Escamis. Mm -hmm. Na yun yung naging effective sa kanila in the first round. The first round. That's right. Clint Escamis coming up with the board. Just stepped out of bounds. So eight and a half seconds left in the second quarter. Final save for San Sebastian. At least potentially if they do get this inbound in. 
And they get it across in time. The trigger man is going to be De Leon. Teka lang. May action na tayo. Wala pa yung bola sa loob. De Soyo versus the rookie in uh, Morenos. Pakilala lang. Yeah. Senior tsaka Bagetsi. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> Alex De Soyo trying to go over the arm of Morenos. Paalala lang natin. Linggo ngayon, na kapit tayo kay Jesus. Ah, okay. Huwag sa kalaban. Tatawagan niya ng foul. Yeah. Sinungkit so, yung kilikili. Matututunan niya. Saka pag swim. Oo. Uh, Matututunan niya ni Paolo Moreno. Pilipino eh. Makakagawa ng paraan niya. Nung junior tournament natin, siya yung senior dun. Oo. Ito, siya na yung tinidiscard. Wala, dadaan ka ulit. Dadaan ka ulit sa linya niya. Oo, paeng ari. I went all the way. This is another miss from close distance para dito sa San Sebastian Stags. But despite the misses, they still carry the lead going into the halftime break. They're up by three. 26 to 23 over.